Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to be talking about why some people are good on pistol rounds and some people aren't, and even actually why some people are good on pistol rounds and then bad on gun rounds. So first, we'll have to talk about what you need to be good on pistol rounds. Well, on pistol rounds, there are a few things you need to be good at that you actually don't need to be as skilled at with other guns. So that's why there's such a variation, is because some guns you don't need to have the same skills as with the pistol. So on pistol round, there are a few things that are the most important for you to actually have success. So first, you need to be really good with your point-click aim. Now, what I mean by point-click aim is where you can flick to a target and easily hit them in the head or where you can trace them and track them along the map as they move so that you can land those headshots. With the M4 and the AK, you can really have a little bit worse point click aim because if you miss your first shot, you can simply burst or you can spray and you can hit later bullets. With the USP, Specifically, you have to be very good at landing your first shot, which means your crosshair with the laser beam gun that I'll call this really needs to be on them right away, which means that's all point click aim. Now, the second part is going to be positioning, and that's a lot different with a pistol than it is with a rifle. And the reason for that is with the pistol, what you want to be doing, especially with the USP is holding an angle, spotting someone out, taking a couple shots, and then falling back. That's drastically different in terms of positioning than it is with a rifle or even with an op. Actually, I believe this is one of the reasons that, in my opinion, from what I see, oppers are actually better on pistol rounds. The first one, of course, is that the op is a point-click aim gun, but also because the op really plays like the USP. What you do with an op is you take a couple shots, find a kill, fall back, and then do the same thing over and over again. That's the same sort of thing you do with an op. With an op, you hold an angle on CT side, find that first frag, and then fall right on back, and find another one later. That's what you need to be doing with the USP. With an AK or M4, what a lot of people do is they find that first frag and then they wanna keep fighting because they feel like they can take the fight again. Well, you don't wanna be doing that with the USP. What you wanna be doing is finding that first frag and then at the very worst, maybe you have a flash and you can peek out and find another. But really, if possible, you want to be taking an aggressive angle and then falling back to a more passive one. So what you want to be doing early on in the round is going very aggressive, getting pushed up into a spot where you can easily fall back. That's why my goal as a mid player, actually, what I do is I peek doors. If nobody is peeking T mid, I'll head right out to Xbox right here. There I can find an easy first frag on people running out and then easily fall back to another spot where I can find another frag. All I have to do is just hold an angle, hit my first shot, and then fall back again to boxes, and then again inside doors. It's very simple to find multiple frags with the USP. Now, the third point is going to be the strafing and movement you need for pistol rounds is almost comical. Now, this is more to do on T side, although this is a little bit to do on CT side, but on T side, you're gonna have the Glock, and the Glock is basically an RNG focused gun. The same thing as the Tech 9 in a lot of scenarios. What you wanna be doing is shooting fairly quickly, about this quick probably, and just looking for the headshot that the RNG gods are gonna give you, okay? So all you're doing is running and trying to find that headshot. What you need to be doing is trying to vary your head level as much as possible to find that frag and you need to be varying your head level so they can't find that frag on you. Because what you really need to be worried about it with a Glock is that you don't get headshotted by the laser beam USP. The USP is never going to be strong against you if he body shots you. But if he headshots you, he, it can be a very, very potent and very strong gun. So what you want to be doing with a Glock is running like this. This is... it's. Almost like you could be in a clown movie doing this. It's really dumb, 
but that's how, how you have to be doing that. Because what happens is you instantly crouch. When you hit crouch in this game, you basically instantly go lower with your head. So they're going to have to continually adjust their aim. They're going to shoot head, body. Like, this is very much harder than simply tracking your head and taking shot after shot. So your goal as a T is to avoid bullets, more so than actually landing shots, because you just basically have to rely on RNG to land shots. Your goal as a T is to avoid bullets. Now your second goal, of course, is going to be getting close up so that you can actually land your shot. Now, of course, you want to be avoiding bullets at every range, but it's a lot easier if you get close up and your spam gun can actually do all of its work. So one of the things you want to actually be trying to do is don't be so afraid of smokes. Think about what a smoke does. Well, on CT side, if you throw a smoke as a CT and you have an M4, so if you have an M4 in your hand, and someone tries to run out of a smoke, you spot him, spray him down, and then you can kill the players behind him as well. Well, think about it. What happens when someone runs through a smoke and you have a USP? Well, you can find that first headshot. But, what happens if someone jumps through a smoke as a CT? What happens then? You can't headshot them because their head is basically not really where it shows their model you're gonna have to get lucky to headshot someone that's jumping through a smoke uh in terms of hitboxes unless you yeah unless you basically get lucky you're not gonna land that shot especially if they're air strafing and doing something like that so the first player you're not gonna find that free kill on him and if you don't find that free kill on him, then the other three or four players are out through that smoke before you even start to shoot at them. So you really need to think about it as don't be so afraid of smokes on T side. Actually, a lot of the time, in my opinion, they can actually benefit you. If someone throws a smoke at a fairly weak angle, you can simply jump straight through it and run up close on them. For example, maybe on apartments on Inferno or apartments on Mirage, people often throw smokes that are too far pushed up and you can simply jump through the smoke and land right next to them and find easy frags. Now, that's basically all you need to know about pistol around, except for pistol around buys, which I went over actually in another video. I'll go ahead and link that in the, in the description if you haven't seen it yet. I go over what you should be buying on pistol rounds, and that's the other most important part about pistol rounds. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. Now, at the end of the video here, I'm just going to mention that. Uh, I've got two series I'm putting, I'm considering putting out. One of them is going to be default strats. Now that's going to be um, for full teams or pugs. I'm going to go over a default strat you can do it for a pug on CT side, then T side, then a default strat you can do on CT side with a team, and then on T side. So I'm wondering if people are really interested in that. Uh, I it's going to be long videos. I actually attempted to make that video. Uh, before this video, but I had some errors actually. It's about 25 minutes, the original. And uh, the other series I was thinking about putting out is not a series, but actually it's just a single video talking about the difference between flashbangs actually in different games and the implications that has specifically on the op as a weapon. So uh, if you guys are interested, uh, leave a comment and I'll definitely put either of those out. Just let me know. And uh, Thanks for watching.